turns out and I can't catch anything and I'm not that good at playing the violin and yeah and I'm hopeless at writing English essays and I can't do Latin as we found out at school and so yes it was kind of obvious that I was going to be a scientist or nothing. <laughs> So all the kids in grade eight had to do a science project. So I decided to do mine on what moulds and bacteria grew around in the house. So I got all these different sorts of food, like um, salami and bread and yogurt and stuff, and I put them in my mum's jam jars, and I, and then I put them in different places, in all different environments, and then I just waited and see what happened and every day I'd go and inspect them and like record what was going on in these jars and like the size of different types of things that were growing on it and how big they were and what colour they were. Well, we were moving to England so we were selling the house and the estate agents were coming round like you can't have random jars or jam jars of <laughs> multi food everywhere and I had to throw them all out. <laughs> it was exciting while it happened. <laughs> As you're learning, you're learning to ask it to not, not, not to not believe anything, but to know when to question things and say, well, why, why is that the case? How do you know that's true? And what, what could another solution be to it? So yes, it's like being a four-year-old all the time. <laughs>